Before we begin, thank you very much to Nick A for joining my Patreon campaign over at patreon.com forward slash TJ Omega, helping to keep the channel going and the t content coming. Thank you so much for your help. Now, everyone asked me why I wasn't making videos for this like literally every day or like every time they announce something new. Like this has been my most talked about thing because of course I am Star Saber Man. I am the Star Saber fanboy. And now, HasLab has done it. The Mad Lads have done it. They've actually produced a brand new Star Saber toy for HasLab. And yeah, as you can see, it is fully funded. It has double the target, the, the base target for production. Uh, and that is absolutely amazing. Right now, we got 10 minutes to go. Actually, if I hit refresh, we got eight minutes to go. This isn't like when I was watching the chess set countdown on Kickstarter. It's not going to count down the seconds, and it's not going to be a real-time clock. I'm going to have to reload and refresh and all this. So, at the moment, eight minutes to go, 22,555 backers out of 11,000. And, yeah, that means we are very well and in all of the tiers. So, we look down. Tier 1, we unlock the V-Lock Cannon, which I think was absolutely necessary. That's a main weapon for Victory Leo. That shouldn't have been a... That sh they, we shouldn't have had to risk losing that in the first place. Not that it was a... Not that it was that far out that we wouldn't get it, you know. Uh, the display stand, I don't think really excited anybody. Uh, it was just kind of like, uh, okay, that's a thing. Uh, but once they painted it and gave it the right colors, I think it looks a lot better. I like it with the big painted Victory logo. And then, yeah, Tier 3. Um, I half predicted this right. I said it would be nice if it came with the Holly uh, min uh, MicroMaster. It is, but it's also coming with fire because they're probably gang molded to each other. And that's, you know, we just end up getting him out of, out of nowhere. And, of course, we're getting the shield as well. I totally forgot about the shield when I first talked about this Kickstarter game. I have no idea how. Um, probably because the kick, the original shield was used as the Masterpiece Star Saber's flight stand. Totally forgot it existed. I don't use it. But yeah, uh, super excited that we're getting everything. So like the way this works is like the more they sell, the cheaper the pr the production gets. Uh, and you know, like, like basically the more units they have the factory make, the cheaper a factory will make them. Kind of like if you're buying like custom t-shirts in bulk or something, just, you know, cause they only, cause this way, like the machines can be set up one time. They all run through it once, you know, and you know, you're, you're only renting out the factory for like so many so much time. So yeah, if you rent it out for the day and make 10,000, it's more than if you rent it out for the day and get 20,000, something, something like that. So it's somewhere where the economics work. Nevertheless, like the more they make, the more the you know the cheaper each unit gets, and the more they are able to throw in, which is how these uh, tiers unlocked. We want to answer a few things here because there's a few things that came up about this. One was why does a why does a billion dollar company like Hasbro need to do a Kickstarter campaign for something like this? Well, for starters, this is a very risky mold. Uh, for one. There have been very, very few Japanese characters released in America, and Star Saber has never been one of them. So, they're not sure exactly how much viability the character has to the American market. On top of that, it's a very large figure that's a very complex with a lot of gimmicks and features, and if they're throwing in Victory, uh, Victory Leo as well, even more so. So, it's a lot. It's a very big set of figures, a very big very complex set of figures that you're not going to see at retail level ever because the gimmicks and the engineering just makes it way too complex for it to work well. Especially if you also have to factor in the fact that Star Saber has to do all of his tricks and still be solid enough to hold Victory Leo up when combined. It's not a it's not something that's possible at leader class price point these days. It's just not. You're looking at like commander price point at the very least. And this is a toy that is not going to get repainted. There's no repaint. There's no viable repaint or remold for Star Saber. So it's a one and done, meaning whatever they do, they have to make sure they profit off of the first one. Don't really think. Like when HasLab does something like this, don't think of it as a crowdfunding campaign. Think of it as think of it as a made-to-order campaign that has 
that basically has an out. If not enough people back it or not enough people buy it or pre-order it, then we can get out. We can just cancel it and go, this was a bad idea. Uh, we'll try something else next time. That's what happened to the Cookie Monster uh, replica. There just wasn't enough people to buy it. And that's the thing. It's like you would think Cookie Monster is such a popular Muppet from Sesame Street. You'd think that'd be a shoe in right? Full-size, realistic uh, uh, replica. No. I don't even think it made halfway to its goal. So things like that probably weigh on Hasbro's mind when they come up with something like this. Because Cookie Monster is an extremely well-known character in America. And Star Saber probably isn't. So, yeah, this is a gamble. So, I'm glad it paid off, though. There's part of me that's like, thank you, Hasbro, for even allowing this toy to have any kind of existence. And there's the other part of me going, ha, 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 and you doubted him. You put him in a crowd campaign because you didn't have faith in Star Saber. I, that's spiteful, and that's the wrong attitude. I don't want to go that route. Uh, it's just funny to think about that someone at Hasbro went, we can't really do him. I don't, no one's going to know who it is. We don't do Japanese. Even though they did Overlord, as an American toy, they did, you know, and Overlord's remold was another, his pre-mold was Sky Shadow, which is based on Black Shadow from Japan. Another victory character, another character no one in America knew. So weird little bit of irony that now, like Hasbro said, like, and I, I kind of raged about that when we went into, like, all these descriptors and all, all the, like, the language they use, because, like, yeah, there, there have been plenty of Japanese characters that have been released in America. Star Saber has had an action figure since 1989. In fact, he's had more than one, if we're just saying, like, action figure. Uh, yeah, Japanese anime side Transformers has never come to the U.S. before. No. Like, none of that is right. A lot of, a lot of that is absolutely wrong. 22640. Yeah, see, this, we've seen that there's been a huge, huge surge in the last 24 hours because now everyone knows that they're going to be able to afford it. Now everyone knows that, oh, I'm going to be good for, you know, 180 bucks plus tax. Uh, you know, and that's kind of me. Like, you'd think I would have backed it immediately, but I was like, maybe I'm not going to be good for that. Maybe I'm not going to make me not because sometimes I run kind of like close on the budget. Uh, this time, no. No, I'm doing well right now. I got plenty in the bank. And I'm about to lose a big chunk of it in, a, like, a minute and plus. But it's going to be worth it. Like, I'm so excited for this figure. The Star Saber has a proper toy that matches in with the main line of Transformers. Matches in with all the Generations figures. Um, yeah, uh, It's just... It's super cool to see. And, yeah, like... It's a loaded figure. Like, it, it's coming with so much. I'm actually, like, super excited for that. Super excited for this figure. And, yeah. And I love that it does so, everything. It does everything that it did before. Like, it's, it's got all of its tricks and probably a few more because it's got modern stuff, like all the all the 5mm ports for weaponry. Like, there's going to be some crazy things. Like, this makes me wish I had more 6 uh, uh, six guns because his red and white color scheme would probably work really well putting even more ridiculous armor onto Star Saber yeah this is going to be cool this is such a cool figure alright uh, let's see this campaign will move into production when it reaches a minimum backing goal we stop taking backers at 11.59pm Eastern Standard Time on 10.10.2021 10, so, uh, we'll double check here real quick, and yep, that is the end of HasLab Star Saber, 22,673 backers, and it might go up from there. Retailers and uh, uh, Takara Tomi Mall in Japan, uh, we're not quite sure if all of their orders have been put in yet. So those might come in later. Like there's part of me, there's part of me that wishes they had gone for a tier four goal, because it feels like once those are added in, we absolutely would have hit it. You know, if it, if it was like another three thousand backers needed to throw in some other tchotchke, probably could have hit that. What I think is cool about this and figures like this is, um, 
when you see that number of backers, that tells you how many were actually made. And ironically, if this wasn't as successful, if this barely got funded, this would be a much rarer toy and later on a much more sought after toy. You know, like you look at like Unicron and how many people wish they had gotten in on him. I couldn't afford it at the time. I couldn't come close to affording Unicron at the time. I was like in that boat of like, maybe I will find somebody who just has buyer's remorse because it's too big for their life, too big to find space for in their life. And they'll just want to get rid of it at cost. Now, of course, that didn't happen. $1,500 on eBay. Like, absolute ridiculous amounts I would never be able to justify. I couldn't justify $575. How am I going to justify $1,500? I am counting on some... I, I'm counting on, like... Some guy... You know, there's got to be there's some guy out there who's like 108 on his last breath who put me in his will because I'm his favorite YouTuber, who bought Star who bought Unicron on a whim because it was all that he had left in his retirement fund and uh and he thought it was a unicorn, not Unicron. So he's just sending it off to me for some reason. Like that's literally my only chance of getting Unicron at this point. So I wasn't gonna let Star Saber pass me up, because like a hundred and eighty bucks now is going to be five hundred dollars later on. So not going through that. Um, for last thoughts on the figure itself, uh, the base mode is cute at best. Star Saber had an air quote base mode in G1 too, and it was just probably just as lame as this. Um, this is where like the extra five millimeter ports are going to come in handy. But again, like no one's ever going to use this mode. The shield helps a little bit, but no one's ever going to use this mode. Um, it's just a thing. Um, yeah, people have told me, oh, his neck looks really thick. I don't like him because his neck looks really thick. He looks like he has a thyroid problem. Why'd they, ne why'd they screw up his neck? Why'd they make his neck so thick? Because there's a brain master in there, genius. It's got to have a, it's got to have space to be in there. How, you had two options here. Either Star Saber's neck was thick or his whole head was huge, like Mardi Gras huge. Because that's what happened to the G1 toy. They had to make it big to fit that big, that Brain Master gimmick in. So he's out of proportion. I'm fine with it. It's a minor, minor, minor detail. You know what else is a minor detail? The fact that the Brain Master does not have a painted face. Number one, that's obviously hand painted. That didn't go through a factory or airbrushing or anything. For, for all we know, yeah, the final product is going to be fully painted with a fully painted face. But also, I wouldn't be surprised if not because the thing is like, did you see the comparison photos? It's half the size of a Titan Master. It is so tiny. It is an extremely tiny piece. And again, it's a piece you're never going to see because the Brain Master is either going to be in the cockpit of Saber or he's going to be in Saber's head, or in Star Saber's head. There's no point where you're actually going to see the face and go, oh, gee, they really screwed him up. What a precious and beloved character, the brain of courage to met, to get wrong. Oh, $200 couldn't paint the face on this piece that I'm never going to see again. And odds are you're never even going to take it out when you transform Saber. Let's be honest here. Let's be completely honest. And then Victory Leo. We've gone over Victory Leo before. He's a little bit small in the arms proportionally. That's about the only complaint I have. His arms are just a little bit too thin. I don't mind how hollowed out some of his parts are because he has to rest on Star Saber's back. So he has to be light enough for that to not encumber Star Saber. That's not a big deal to me. That is not a big deal at all. What's a big deal to me is we got all these cool things. We got all these additional parts we got everything we could want in star saber including a few other things like blast effects and all that uh yeah the brain master gimmick is intact a little altered but intact looks great sword might be a little sword blade might be a little bit small i'll give you that one i'll give you that one third party's gonna like someone someone on shapeways is gonna fix that up real quick and yeah beyond that i'm just thrilled that it does everything that i need a star saber toy to do I'm thrilled it comes with everything that a Star Saber toy could possibly come with. And I'm thrilled so many people backed it because guess what? This means 
this doubled its base funding goal. And see here, the numbers are still going up, 22,694. Numbers still going up. I am really excited for what this is going to mean, especially toward, uh, especially toward Hasbro's impression on Japanese characters, because this opens up paths. We already got an overlord. We've already got a new god Jinrai. We already got uh, who else? We got we got a, we got a we got a we got a Diatlas. Weirdly enough, we've gotten all these Japanese leaders except for Star Saber and Death Stars. For as popular as Victory is, it was always a weird gap. But this this means Death Source is probably on the way. This means that sometime in the future, if HasLab does Transformers again. We could very well see the counterpart to this. And it opens up possibilities that we've never had. You know, maybe Lyo Kaiser, maybe Dino King. You know, we know that there were molds from the Terracons and Dinobots that had alternate heads to be Monstructor or Dino King. This could open up that avenue. It means characters from Japan that we never thought were possible are suddenly in the realm of reality. And that has me interested. Not the fact that Star Saber succeeded. I had no doubt that he'd get funded. What makes me happy is how well funded he is. And probably in the next couple days when all the retailers are added in, we're going to find out exactly how well funded he was. 22,700. Yeah, the numbers are still climbing. It's interesting to me that I'm going to know how many exist, because typically you'd think like 100,000 of each Transformer copy exists around the world at least. But you know you're, you know, you know you are one of 22,700 Star Savers. That's going to be cool. So this has me interested for the future and what other possibilities this may bring. And I will hopefully see you guys then in the future when we talk about the next thing that comes out of HasLab. Fingers crossed that it goes right alongside this guy. So, one final time, because Hasbro didn't say it often enough during the campaign, let's say go! Guys, I am facing the most powerful enemy any YouTuber can face, the algorithm, and I need your help to defeat him. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Every time you do, we attack that algorithm and we drive it back until it can no longer defeat this channel. Thank you very much.